Kadiravan, we hear that your father is an IIT Delhi professor. Yes. So, why not engineering and why medicine? Yeah, so um, it's not like I hate maths or anything. Like I always also like maths along with science. But like you know, once I reached tenth, I felt that I was more inclined towards bio. And like yeah, there was also this option of taking PCMB. But the thing is, ki like I talk to my friends and my seniors, you know, get an opinion, ki what I should do. And they suggested that if I have, you know, I, even a vague idea ki what I in which field I wanted to do something, then I should just, you know, de- devote my entire time into that. So instead of taking PCMB, I decided to take PCB and you know go on to become a, to work to become a doctor. Talk about Akash's role in your journey. How uh, when did you join Akash and how has the journey been with Akash? Yeah, so um, I actually joined Akash in ninth through the ANTHE exam. Okay. Yeah, so I gave that exam and I enrolled in ninth, and I was in a two-year program, ninth and tenth, and then I enrolled again for eleventh and twelfth. And I believe, yeah, Akash did play a you know very major role because uh, the thing is, if you are just sitting at home, you can study. It's not like you can't do it at home alone also. But the kind of exposure that you get in Akash, like that's not something you can get while you know sitting at home, and you get these you know teachers who are like who teach you things which are very neat oriented, like which are the things you require, not just some general stuff, you know, like. It's very specific, and that's something I feel which was really necessary. And apart from that, of course, the mock tests and all, you know, like that played a very huge role. Like it just, I could feel my ma- marks escalating as I gave the test series. Yeah, so um, see, I knew I knew about Akash, uh, I guess in seventh or something, but I didn't know that Anthe existed till eighth. So there was actually a person from Akash who had visited our school, you know, to encourage the students to give Anthe, and that's how I enrolled in Anthe. And the syllabus is just the same, you know, like just the eight stuff only. So like I was studying, of course I was studying eight. So I just like I just continued with that. There were some chapters which were, you know, like not which hadn't been thought in school at that time. So I studied that and I gave the exam. And um, yeah, I scored some ninety percent scholarship or something. Like I'm not exact. I don't exactly remember the marks, but yeah, I scored good and I got into Akash. What was your state of mind when you were heading for your exam? On the exam day, so like I so what my teachers actually recommended me was that like in you know in the last I guess one two days don't like do too much studying or things like that because if I find ki like I don't remember something it will just like put me in a worse state. So like on the last day on the day of, on the day of the exam I didn't study anything like I tried to keep my head as empty as possible you know like I used to I just did things I enjoyed like I was reading comics and. Uh, I even listened to some music right before heading to the exam. So I tried to be as cool as possible, and I think it paid off. So we have some future neat aspirants here, and they have some questions and queries uh, to ask. So mm-hmm. let's open the stage to them. Okay. Yeah. You gave subjective tests of physics, chemistry, and biology after completing the chapter, or at the times of board before boards. No, like you know, like yeah, I gave the uh, after completing the chapter, I used to give subjective tests because like in my school. We had these, you know, like um, class tests, you know, like after each and every chapter. So my subjective portion was strengthened uh, over the course of two years. So it's not like I just did it for the boards. Uh, like I used to read the NCERT a lot, especially in physics. Like I guess people kind of miss out, you know, like reading the NCERT in physics. But like what I used to do was like I, I, I guess I didn't read it as much in eleventh. But by the time I reached twelfth, I realized you know like you have to know the NCERT, especially. Like in these parts where you end up missing it, so like I used to read it frequently, like uh, especially you know like in physics and chemistry I've read these chapters multiple times throughout the year. So I just didn't do it for the boards, but I you know like I was consistent with my uh, reading the subjective part for the entire course of the two years. Yeah. And how much time did you give and need individually to do all the subjects? Okay, so see like the thing is that I had see you will plan something before the exam. But like more often than not, you end up you know like, thoda aage piche that happens. So I had planned ki I'll you know spend some forty five minutes in physics. Like I do physics first. So I had planned that. 
but you know uh, in need you have all these other things like you know have to put your like fingerprint and you have to fill all these things so some unexpected things are also there so i end up like i ended up taking some one hour in physics and then after that like maybe some 40 minutes in chemistry 40 45 minutes in chemistry and after that like i spent um around 40 minutes in bio and the rest of the time i spent in revision because like see once you are going through the questions for the first time there are bound to be some mistakes you end up committing and us time mein like you won't even know ki you are doing that but when you go through those questions another time like that when you'll realize ki ha yahan pe kuch galti hui hai even some silly mistake so i always make sure ki uh, i allocate at least half an hour just to go through the numericals and things like that again so that i don't end up committing any silly mistake throughout your journey you might have had ups and downs you would have learned from your mistakes ke ye nahi karna chahiye tha ye ye karna chahiye tha so what would be your tips to the future need aspirants these are the things that they should take care of yeah so like of course the main thing that i would tell my need as like the future need aspirants is that they should like focus entirely on ncert because see like in 11th like as i said earlier also like there are lots and lots of materials and like people often get distracted and although the teachers also tell us you know after like basically after every class they used to tell us ki ha ghar ja ke ncert pad lena ek baar but what i used to do was like i thought ki yaar ncert ncert hi hai you know like i'll just do it later on or like it's not that important or i like you know things like that but uh, when i reached december like when we had that um ncert booster program like in akash so like i realized ki okay like there's a lot of stuff in ncert only and i don't know that mm. so like this happened with me and also like all of my friends like and like one of my friend like he even got kind of sad ki like what i have been doing for like these two years like i have been focusing on the wrong thing so like this happens to a lot of people mm. and so like you know like whoever asks me like you know in these past weeks or months like whoever has asked me ki kya karna chahiye like friend so i just tell them ki devote your entire attention to ncert and at least make sure that like you know you are devoting as much time as possible in like you know strengthening your ncert first and after that you can go on to these other extra thing thank you so much for giving out these tips i definitely know that they'll help a lot of neat aspirants and i want to congratulate you kadiravan scoring this well uh, i wish you all the very best for your future endeavors